In today's video, I'll answer your question, what does it mean that we must obey God rather than men in Acts chapter 5 verse 29? Then afterward, as always, I'll share some helpful resources, so stick around until the end. Acts chapter 5 verse 29 recounts the response Peter and other apostles gave when the Sanhedrin ordered them to cease preaching. The apostles' words were direct and filled with confidence. We must obey God rather than men. This unwavering stance defied the ministry of the apostles and early Christians who remained resolute in the face of severe persecution. Acts chapter 5 presents a contrast between the direct command given by God through an angel, verses 19 through 20, and the orders of the Sanhedrin, verse 28. In the previous chapter, the apostles had an initial confrontation with the Sanhedrin that resulted in the latter given stern prohibitions against them preaching, Acts chapter 4, verses 16 through 18. This was after Peter healed the lame beggar in Acts chapter 3, verses 1 through 10. In response, Peter and John posed a similar question, which is right in God's eyes, to listen to you or to him? You be the judges, Acts chapter 4, verse 19. After the incident with Ananias and Sapphira in Acts chapter 5 verses 1 through 11, the fame of the apostles grew, verses 12 through 16. The high priest and the Sanhedrin were jealous of the apostles, and they imprisoned them. However, an angel facilitated the apostles' prison break and commanded them to continue preaching, Acts chapter 5 verse 20. The Sanhedrin confronted them once again, leading to the apostles' declaration, we must obey God rather than human beings. Generally, Christians are called to obey human authorities. The apostles even instruct their readers to pray for those in power. Given the intense persecution faced by first century Christians, this directive stood as a challenging requirement and an example of loving one's enemies. We should strive to avoid breaking laws or engaging in selfish rebellion, but instead pursue peace with everyone. However, there are instances when human laws contradict God's clear commands in Scripture. We sometimes encounter pressure to affirm what the Bible condemns. The topics of gender and sexuality, for example, have become pressure points for Christians. The world's view on these matters has been in opposition to that of the Bible since the advent of the sexual revolution. Current debates regarding whether children can choose their gender exemplified the moral bankruptcy of modern society. Contrasts between the world and the Bible are also evident in areas like marriage, divorce, materialism, and abortion. Will we obey God in these matters, or will we obey men? Through the Apostle John, God made it clear, do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, comes not from the Father, but from the world. The world and its desires pass away, but whoever does the will of God lives forever. 1 John chapter 2, verses 15 through 17. Sadly, many self-proclaimed Christians accept and even defend sinful actions. The call to obey God rather than men remains an urgent obligation today, just as it was when the apostles first proclaimed it. When faced with the choice between obeying human authorities and obeying God, there should be no hesitation. God is our ultimate authority, and our values must align with his revealed word. Jesus' words in Matthew chapter 10, verse 28, serve as a reminder that God is in charge. Do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more great content and check out the details section below this video. There you'll find one book I recommend along with several links to related questions. If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch or if you're interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, got questions? The Bible has answers. We'll help you find them.